Hello, this is Dr. Ben Benham. I'm a board certified dermatologist, laser and skin cancer specialist. Today we're going to talk about what makes a sunscreen effective. So there are a lot of sunscreens out there. The whole point of sunscreen is to block the UV rays. There are two types of UV rays. There's UVA and there's UVB. Classically, it was thought that it's the UVB that causes uh, skin cancers. As a result, a lot of the sunscreens in the U.S. were aimed at reducing the effect or blocking the penetration of UVBs. In fact, the SPF number on all the sunscreens in the U.S. is an indication of how effective that sunscreen is in blocking out UVB. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell us anything about how good it is with respect to blocking out UVAs. So, for example, you could buy a sunscreen that's an SPF factor of 100 and you put it on religiously. However, the problem with that is that you're only blocking one set of the rays, the UVBs. You're not blocking the UVAs. So, when we look at sunscreen, it's actually good to know a little about some of the ingredients uh, that will uh, give us the best sun protection. Zinc oxide, which used to be used in the old days uh, by, by uh, a lot of people basically out on the beach and typically they used to put it on their nose and a lot of lifeguards, uh, still one of the best sunscreen or sun protectors there is. It blocks UVAs and UVB. One of the reasons that zinc oxide went out of favor was because it just left this white hue on the skin. However, the technology has actually gotten really good, and right now we're able to produce zinc oxide molecules, zinc oxide uh, chemicals that are very fine, which means that you could basically just put it on your face, and it's not going to leave that white residue behind. A lot of the sunscreens that we have in our clinic, as well as the ones that I highly recommend, are uh, the ones that have zinc oxide in it. Obagi, Soul Bar. Uh, these are brand name ones that have zinc oxide in it. Uh, another good uh, sunscreen uh, chemical is called titanium dioxide. Uh, that's also another physical uh, blocker uh, of the sun of the sun rays, uh, but it's also broad spectrum blocker, which means that you're going to block the UVA and UVB. Uh, one of the problems, again, with uh, a lot of the sunscreen out there is that they only focus on the UVB and not the UVA. Uh, so that leaves you potentially uh, at harm's way uh, with respect to the v UVA portion of it. So again, my recommendation is uh, to use a sunscreen that has a UV protection of about 35 or 40 SPF and above, but it also has some zinc oxide or titanium dioxide in it that you get the UVA protection as well. Please put on sunscreen every day, every two hours as you're going to be outside. And also uh, wear a long sleeve shirt, pants, as well as a hat uh, in order to protect yourself as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to check out our website for more educational videos at SantaMonicaSkin.com. Again, this is Dr. Benham. Have a nice day.